where we uh, temporarily house our inmates until they're uh, assigned housing upstairs and or released. So where they're uh, given the opportunity to make their phone calls, bail out. So they'll spend usually about 24 hours down here. So this is a family jail. We don't curse. Can yeah, we stop well, cursing? Sorry. Have a seat right here. Have a seat. Um, hold on. Don't push me. I'm not pushing you. Yeah, you are. You're pulling me down. What the hell are you pulling me down for? Come on, sir. You're yeah. Take him? Okay. Yes, sir. Come so on, yeah, sir. Don't yeah, I did what? What did I do? I don't know. You just walked yeah, in the door. Yeah, you're exactly it. Violence. I ain't done a goddamn gotta, thing. Oh, All they got to do is set my huh? wife. Hit me in the back. Sir, why and you all put me in here. Why are you yelling at us? Why are you putting me in here? Sir, have a seat. Guess what? what? Sir. My open wife open called you in to sir. me because I beat her up. Keep your hands She's out, not sir. here. You're a Cowboys fan. Yes, I am. Cool. Been one all my life. Well, so now you got to tie me up yes, sir. because of my prosthetic leg? No. no, sir, because everybody out there is uh, what you call tied up. What did I do? Turn around, sir. Did I say anything to anybody? Did I say anything to anybody? Did I create anybody's negativity? No, I didn't. They're locking me up for something my wife said to them. I'm a man that shouldn't be in here. Have you been drinking tonight, sir? I'm fine. All right, come on this way. What's that? Which way is that? Ah, uh, why are we going this way? Because this is the way we go, sir. Line order begins in this room. Good. Guess what? Hey, how y'all doing? Yeah, they got you all. Yeah, do. They got me on because uh, song battery my wife oh, took me in. Y'all yeah. got something better than that? We're gonna get your blood pressure real quick, okay? Yeah, I'm sure mine's high because I'm pretty pissed off right now. Does that mean I'm on drugs? I didn't cause no crime. No, I have nothing. It's good. I don't even have problems of hurting myself. Never had one till y'all came along. No. Yeah, you smiling mother. I say Maurice has got a uh, prosthetic leg. He's drunk and he's belligerent, no, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna isolate him. Why are you hurting me? Why are you relax? No, I don't need to relax. Give me my right. I've been arrested for nothing. Let's start walking, guys. Junior's getting the camera. I can't leave him out here with everybody else. He's causing too much of a scene. I did nothing. What's the story with Maurice? Uh, basically, we got called up there for a domestic violence call. Uh, we showed up. Supposedly, he had battered his, his wife while we were there. We spoke to the wife, uh, and the daughter also witnessed the battery. As you saw, he's completely uh, intoxicated. Right. I think as we were driving to jail little by little, he uh, got more and more angry, and then got inside, and he wasn't cooperating at all. Did he tell you what happened to his leg? Uh, I guess he was in the Gulf War, uh, the, the first one, and I think he was an Army guy, and that's when he, he lost it during the, the first war, so that's all he kind of told me about it. But. That's too bad. I say I'll let him sober up a little bit. He's probably a different person. He was so. completely he was completely fine with us initially. That's pretty much it. Well, thank you. Cool. You bet. All right, Sarge. How's this guy been? Has he been cool? He just laying there. Maurice. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. Can you get up? Got you, brother. Really? Ow, 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 ow. You okay? Yeah. How are you feeling, man? You all right? It's all worth it. Yeah, we'll take his chance. No, off. all I need to do is get home. I don't, I don't even care. All right. You been here before, Maurice? No, I haven't. Today, you're here for battery domestic violence. I never got to fight with nobody. I don't do domestic. I'm sorry. I gave my time my, and, 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 and for my country, and then I turn around and get turned on because some uh, kid says something, and then she said it to her mom, and then it goes to her mom, and it goes to me, and I'm like, what the f The longest time the police want to pull some f on me. That's why I'm here today, for my ticket. There was. An uh, illegal U turn in 07, 06, lying down on my ear for a ticket that maybe cost $25 to get a warrant after me, put me in jail. But they got to make a deal out of it. But my girlfriend is kind of psycho. Um, you do have a city warrant. That warrant must have been out of, was it City or Henderson or North Las Vegas? Well, whatever. Well, so what do we got to do? 
You've got a three thousand dollar bail. I'm not bailing out. Okay, then so you you'll be here for about a day and a half. That warrant will be taken care of now while you're here, so you won't have to worry about that popping up ever again. Okay. All right. I don't want no more bull. I want it all done. Yeah, we'll get it all taken care of. Right I want it all taken care of. Is there anything else I can do for you? No. All right, man. Thank you very much, well, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank man. you. All right, Maurice. Thank you. Got a city warrant, too. Yeah, he's got a city warrant. Bad DV, and he's got a warrant in the city he's got to take care of once he gets out of here. Yeah, at least he'll get it all over with. Yeah. He did talk about his uh, involvement in the war and how he acquired his leg injuries. I respect and appreciate what he's done. So the um, least I can do is help him through this process the best I can. things that we train here is dealing with difficult people. A large majority of the people that arrive here are either high or intoxicated or combative. So we like to make sure our people are prepared to deal with uh, these individuals, both physically and verbally. Oscar. What's up, boss? Can you expedite this? No. You need to be compliant. You need to follow my directions. I'm just saying, my dad's the guy. Listen to her. Yeah, Pay attention to her questions. Answer them politely. No, I'm good. So what's with Oscar today? Uh, he got arrested for trespassing over at the Wynn. Said he was very excited to come and see all you guys here. Yeah, he knows pretty much all of us. He's been here enough times that uh, he's familiar with all of us. But how was he acting? He just wouldn't leave, or? He did, yeah, he wouldn't leave and was very, very talkative. Window floor. This guy is known to pretty much everybody here. And we just know that he can be extremely violent uh, when he first comes in, when he's been drinking, or or uh, using any type of drugs. He's uh, attacked staff before that I'm familiar yeah. with. I'm not going to play games with him. That's it. Rodriguez, hey. Oscar. I'm a, I'm a cap of sick. Have a seat. <laughs> so far, so good? No, I'm behaving. So far, you're being too loud and disruptive. That's the only thing you're lacking right now. Yes, sir. Don't be yelling stuff out. Thank you. We go back a ways. Maybe. He knows me. All right, right. He knows pretty much all of us. Stay in your seat. All right, here you go. Last seat. Hey, where are you going? Have a seat. They just caught me. No. No, they didn't. And I told you to stay in your seat, didn't I? Yes or no? I don't know. They yeah. just heard my name. He's done. Are you serious? I'll murder you. I swear to God. Put him on the wall right there. What's the charge? What's the charge? Or can we uh, combine? My only concern is that he'll fight with somebody else no, if he pulls out a chain. So. OK, here you go. Oscar. What's up, man? Kick your sandals off. Go see. Some tires. Have a seat. Stay. No, just have a seat. Have a seat. Stay there until the door closes. Got up when I was patting a different guy. Um, started talking some garbage. I'm not even sure what he was talking about. Told him to have a seat. Started heading out. He said, someone called me. I said, no, they didn't. You're done. If he's eligible for an OR, we'll probably defer it for 12 hours and uh, make sure he's ready to be back on the street. OK. Listen to us, all right, so we can get you through this process. What's your first name? Shana. Shana? All right. Stop wiggling. <laughs> I'm not wiggling. You're pushing me up. Sweetheart, don't you get it? I love to see it like in the tree. You do? Yes, I do. I wish I could do that. Don't fling your hair in my face, all right? Oh, I'm sorry, I did that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Sorry. All right, thank you. How long have you been doing drugs, ma'am? As long as you guys have been telling me to do drugs. Oh. That's interesting. Please, ma'am. Oh, These are my her, wedding rings. Give her the hand, see if she'll get them off. Rings! The rings! Keep her my rings! I will take them off for you. You break my arm, okay, officer? Please don't hurt my arm. All the wrong people, all the wrong reasons, do nothing for the police! 
Sam don't want nobody, but you know this off. so. I love you, people. I know it. See what they're doing back here? Oh, yeah! Rate me, go ahead and do it. Like it's done before. Like, go yes. now. Did you pull the cuffs on my back? Oh, oh watch Now it. I'm not spitting on you, you oh. choke spit me off. Up high, down low. Ah, ah. The surgeon's on the way. Once I go to sleep, you'll know. Ma'am, have a seat right there. Right yeah, back, ma'am. Sit down. Stop resisting. No, sir. Okay, stop resisting. And no, knees off. And I relax. You're doing good. Relax. Coward. I want the U.S. Marshals now! Yes, Marshals! Where yeah, are relax. they? You keep that bitch away from me! So she is going to stay in the uh, restraint chair for the next couple of hours until she calms down. I will kill you. Get the hell away from me. Can you tell us what the deal was? Uh, the detail stated that there was a white female walking down the street uh, yelling and arguing at other subjects. But we found out she had a warrant. Uh, she started resisting, uh, trying to kick us and trip us. Okay. Uh, luckily, there was uh, a few officers there. It took about four of us to uh, place her in handcuffs uh, and properly secure her. But we'll definitely be charging her for obstruction. OK, thanks. Looks like she had two bench warrants for unlawful acts of financial responsibility and then uh, resisting a police officer. So her bail for that is $1,000. So if she doesn't have bail money, she'll be here a few days. Shana, you have one hour left. You said that an hour ago. You've got about 50 minutes. They're going to take you out of the chair, see how you act. It always seems like I fight and I cry and nothing makes sense anymore. Hey, Sarge, are we wheeling her all the way over there to TR before we take her out of the chair? Yeah, we'll take her out okay. so the walk. We're just going to take her down to the cells we have over on the TR side. So going to take her out of the chair and give her a little uh, time to cool off a little bit more. And I remember what I said, Sheena, OK? You're going to follow all our directions. You'll be able to get in here, lay down. No, so I'm not here cutting me. God damn it! Shayna, calm down. Ah, we're trying to take them off. Okay, we're trying to get you out of the chair. I understand that, okay? Then you need to calm down, because all this Woo! bucking around a kick is not going to help. Stand now, up. slowly stand, stand up. up. Okay, don't let my chair. They'll get the cuffs off, and you can have a seat on the bench and sleep for a little bit. Your feet down. Let go of Shana. my goddamn. Hey, Shayna, put on the leg around. No! No! Please, no. you crack those bitch! What the f are you doing? Get out of here! Let's get her, let's get her off the bench. Yeah, let's stick her back in the chair. Step back a little bit. Okay. You got a mask? I can't. Lap belt. OK. Yeah. Got that one? Yeah. Shanna, just sit back and take a deep breath. There you go. You get checked out, Fields? Yeah. Ruby will hit me. Relax. All right, take her back over there. I did. We got her in the room. She turned around, took a swing at the officers. So I had to restrain her and uh, put her back in the chair. And took her back over and gave her another chance to cool off. She's in for another two hours. We'll uh, reassess her and see how she does. We're going to try this all over again. And I'm going to take the handcuffs off you. You're going to have to listen to me. And if you do that, you're going to be fine, OK? Stand up. There we go. Okay, off comes the mask. Face forward. Face forward now. Walk in. Step in. Walk in. Come on. Step All in. Back. All you need there to do is go. just go lay down on the bench and try to sleep it off. All right. All right just You're in. You. Okay. You're in. You're in. Go have a seat. You got a chow coming about an hour, and you get up, get something to eat. It might help out, but for now, just sleep it off. Okay. All right. So Shannon was removed from the restraint chair uh, without incident this time. Hopefully, in an hour or two, she gets some food, she goes to sleep, and uh, she'll be a different person in the morning. I've been on the department roughly 10 years. Been assigned to Central Booking Bureau as a sergeant. 
I've been on the CERT team for roughly a year. The CERT team is in charge of handling any special operations in the jail. We deal with riot situations, any type of high-risk transports. We go handle any situation we're given. We got a code five male coming in. See what the problem is and see if we can walk him in. Try not to use a chair if we don't have to. How you doing? How am I doing? Yep. Uh, I could be better. I, I'm, yeah, I could be better. You're only here for a bench warrant. My guys pull you out of the car. You're going to cooperate just, with them? What am I going to do? Try to get myself out of here? Or I'm something just kind of asking. I got, that's crazy. why I'm talking yeah. to you and clearing it with you. That would be insane. That was so uncalled for. Like. All right, we'll talk about it inside, all right? We'll walk in. Sit down, close your mouth, put your face on the ground, rub it on the pavement, shred your face in the ground, pound it. Relax. You weren't there. Exactly. Where you, uh, no. you weren't. I wish I had a lawyer. I... Walk straight down there and you talk to the nurse. You guys be cooked. Uh, cooked. Down there and talk to the nurse. Done. You'd be so done. You guys. All the way down. We'll talk to Are you cut, bleeding, injuries, open wounds? Probably. I probably have head trauma. You're being slammed to the ground. I need intensive care. You have any alcohol tonight? Lots of it. You take them to four. I think four is open, so. OK, come on back here, sir. What am I going to do? You're going to go into a cell over here? Something I need. Speeding ticket. I'm just going to let you go in here and sober up a little bit. Speeding ticket. Yeah, come on. Help it. We're going to take the chain Just listen to what my guys are telling you. Jesus. freaking violating me, dude. I hate punks. Look at the wall. If I got to tell you again, you're going to the floor. You don't get to tell me what I get to look at, all right? OK. We do. Please don't express your authority too much for your OK, show. Mr. So you're going to listen to everything they're telling you to do. If you decide, put them back in cuffs. Put them in cuffs. Get on the ground now. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Get onto your knees and cross your feet. So go to the ground. There you go. I feel good. Go ahead and cuff. All right. Can you slam your own head into the wall? Yeah, tough. You're going to be so tough. We didn't hurt you, sir. You tried to hurt yourself. I'm not hurting myself. I'm recollecting something in my own mind. By right? slamming your head into the wall? Yes. Sure. That means slamming, dude. Uh, Control, 1094, one to two C male yeah. side from booking. Put them right in the corner. Well, they got no rooms. Is that what they said? We're going to go ahead and uh, place you in the restraint chair since you wanted to bang your head off of the wall because uh, we can't have you doing that. Whatever so makes you feel. Um, <laughs> Really. We took him to a side cell. As soon as we took the handcuffs off him, he decided to have, smack his head against the wall, so we placed him on the ground, put him in cuffs. Brought him back out here and put him in the chair. So chokes me out. He's going to sit choke over here. Choke me out to where I can't breathe. For a cool down period. Are you um, listening we'll to this? They choke me out to where I can't breathe. Slam me on the ground. It's so important to you if you manhandle somebody, isn't it? What does not have to do with that, Miss? Just trying to get you out. Just trying to get Shut you to up. calm down so we can get you to the process so we can get you out today. So get me through then there. All according want you to you, do is cooperate according to you, according to your mental state, your ego, jail is not I'm that not tough. It's pretty much just a waiting you. game. Ah, Sit there and wait for your name to be you're called. You're sick. I don't have to be quiet to be out right. But acting like that, how's it working out for you right now? Not very good. Exactly. As soon as you calm down, sir, I'll come back and talk. Yeah, 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 oh yeah. I paid the goddamn fine. It's a speeding ticket. You got to cooperate with yourself. And then what? I mean, I get stuck in the chair. Yeah, What's better than the chair, right? Look at him go. All right, go ahead and stand up. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 We can. I have a speeding ticket. OK. You have a bench warrant for a speeding ticket. You have a bench warrant for a speeding ticket. What does that mean? It means you failed to comply with some court order. I already 
related to a speeding ticket that you got. I paid. Well, obviously there was more to it. I don't know what the details are. You're a lot calmer now, which is good to see. That is horse. You are full of. Oh my. But of the 125 people that we have brought into custody tonight, you are the only one that had to be put in a restraint chair. We cannot release you when you're that worked up. So hopefully you're on the road to calming down, to mellowing out. I'm saying that you will ever be looking at your own self in the mirror every day. Every day. Uh, it's like I told him, out of the 125 people that we have brought into custody tonight, he was the only one that had to be placed in the chair. So clearly, he was uh, not behaving appropriately. For the last 10 or so years, uh, I've been involved in training our staff. Uh, I've been able to teach people searches and search techniques, uh, defensive tactics, uh, to make them more prepared so that any situation we encounter, hopefully we'll do the right thing and get through there safely for everybody. Kill me now. You deserve my name. <laughs> you bitch ass mother. So tell me what's going on with Ryan. Uh, he was brought in by Salt Lake City PD for urinating at the club into a sink, and then he started fights with the bouncers and things like that. So he's really agitated. Okay. Well, it sounds like he's uh, getting upset, so we'll just have to be careful with this one. All right. Where's Ramson? Hey, Ramson. Turn around. Ramson. Face the mat. There you go. Relax. Where's your feet? There you go. Perfect. You been drinking today? Yes, I've been drinking! Hey, I'm fighting you, why you fighting me? Relax! Brian. I am relaxed. Hey, why aren't you relaxed? Calm down. You been drinking today? Yes! How much? A lot. OK. You been here before? No! Can you calm down? Yes! OK, then calm down, bud. I am calm. Would you stop yelling? Yes! Hey, yeah, they just touched my balls. I felt they touched my balls again. It felt good. I'm not going to lie. I like All right. Hey, thanks for serving America. Good job. Good job, America. Hey, good job, America. OK, we're going to be using this tether to, uh, uh, a tether. to remove your, yeah, to tether, remove your jacket, OK? So tether me, because I'm so oh, aggressive. Okay. Tether me, because I'm such a harm against America. Hey, Ryan, you need to relax. I am relaxed. Am I fighting nice. you? Am I punching you in the face? Make sure we adjust those handcuffs. Yeah, yeah, readjust it. Readjust it, because I'm such a harm to humanity. If you think I'm a harm, if you think I'm an endangerment, no, you're doing all great. gonna burn. You're all going to burn. You're doing great, Ryan. Yeah, Just I'm relax. doing great. Because I didn't fight it. Walk back. Yeah, hurt me, mother <laughs> Hurt me. Ryan, I got a Ryan, I walk, OK? Walk I'm backwards. walking. I'm walking backwards. Thank you. Thanks, me. Ryan. No. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Right. My brother's a cop. He's hurting me. I ain't hurting you. You guys are hurting me. I'm hurt. hurt so. Yeah, throw me. Throw In the corner me, right. Right here, right here Ryan. OK, lift up your foot. OK, Ryan, listen up, bud. You're going to back up. You're going to pull your arms through the cuff port so you can remove these cuffs from you, OK? So bend your knees, pull your arms out. All right, walk inside, bud. I want to leave. I didn't do anything wrong. Hey, Ryan, all you need to do is sober up a little bit. We'll get you out and, tell you, and let you know exactly what's going on with you, OK? Yeah, I So am keep sober. doing exactly what you're doing, and we'll get you out here in a little bit and uh, get you booked in. Crowther. Yep, Crowther. Hey, Crowther. I know a lot of Crowthers. <laughs> Should I just go sit down? Yeah, that would be a good thing to do. Thanks, Ryan. Murder! Murder! As soon as he uh, sobers up a little bit more, he'll be ready to get out and go through the process. Uh, he seems like just got a little bit too uh, rambunctious with the alcohol tonight.
to check on Ryan, see how he's doing. Seems like he's calmed down a little bit. Ryan, you doing a little bit better? Okay, we'll get you down to another cell and get you booked in, okay? Yeah. All right, thanks, Ryan. Ryan, stand up, please. Yeah, stand up so the nurses can check you, Ryan. Whoa, careful, guy. Careful. Just back up, Just back up a little bit. You're all right. No, other way, other way, other way. Come towards us. You've been drinking today? Yeah. I fight for freedom. What okay. do you fight for? Freedom, too. Me, too. I want to just be a safe citizen. Okay. Don't try and hurt anyone. Looks like Ryan has uh, cooperated with nurse checks, and we'll be moving him down to a drum tank here shortly. Another hour or two, we'll get him through the booking process, and we'll get him out of here as quick as we can. in charge of the reception floor and the booking counter. So basically making sure that everybody's safe and searches and things like that when they come in. Some of the skills it takes working down here, I'd say the most foremost is uh, being patient. Honestly, that's huge. And safety practices. We just got a call about a female combative. Um, they should be here any time now. They want us to meet them in the Sally Port. What's your name? Karen. She, she just very, very, very drunk and very angry. So she's not. She, we, had to, we had to carry her down the stairs to get her. So uh, she charged with criminal mistreatment. She hit a kid. Uh, she's been drinking as well. She's yeah. way drunk. No, I don't. I don't like to be. Don't push me. Got a couple standard questions. Take these things off me. That's not the answer. Are you uh, diabetic? No. Are you suicidal? Yes. Where and I'm totally drunk, OK? You already know that. Yeah, that I know, but that's not one of the questions. Where take these things off my. Don't take my earrings. All this stuff gets put in your property, and you'll get it when you get released. Peter. Well, that's not nice that you threw my pearls. Take these off me. I want you to just want my glasses. Well, please. get them for you. I just can't relax. See. We're taking you out of the car right now, okay? And do not mess with those pearls. Need the right hand first. Can I have my glasses, please? Okay, listen. Let us do our job. We're gonna let you get your glasses on so you can see what's happening. I'm not trying to stop you from seeing. Okay. I didn't. I'm just gonna use ink. It's already on there. Just. What do you mean they're smudged? They're smudged. They're in there, so you can't even tell. I know. And you have my pearls. Don't mess with those pearls, please. We're not. They're going to go in your property. You'll get them when you get released. Now we're going to have to take your glasses off, because you can't have your glasses while you're in the cell, especially since you said you were suicidal. OK? So I'm just going to take them off with you. I mean, I mean, I need, I need, I need my glasses. I can't. Turn. turn around and have a seat right here. We can give you a chance to sober up. I need to ask you a question. When you first came in, you said you were feeling suicidal. Do you, do you really feel that way today? No, no. I really just want to go home and sleep in my own bed. I don't, I, I don't want to be left in, like, this kind of room. So am I technically arrested, or? You are now in custody of the Multnomah County Sheriff's yes, Office. OK. And I have some concerns, because you mentioned suicide. I'm hoping you were just upset. I'm going to touch base with medical. I want to go home. I, I want to go home. And we're going to work in that direction. I'm going to look and find out okay. where your property is at, and I'll get back with you and let you know what's happening. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. What was Karen's charges? Uh, she is here for mistreatment one, assault three, and harassment. Gotcha. She's in ISO right now. She was talking about she was going to hurt herself, so. She's now on suicide watch. OK. So just give your heads up. All right. Thank, thank you. Right here on the wall, look up your name. So listen, do you know why you're in an isolation cell? Because I'm crazy? Because your behavior was less than desirable. OK. okay. I... Do, do you think that if you're allowed to come out of this cell that you can conduct yourself appropriately? Yes. Yes. So you don't want to hurt yourself then? No. Okay. Here's your glasses. Thank you. Stand up. 
We're ready. When you come, stop, stop, stop moving. When you come out of this room, I want you to, when you come, stop moving. Listen to what I'm saying. Put your shoes on. Is there any so you hear what I'm saying? Cigarette? No cigarettes. You're gonna get your picture taken. But I'm the one that called the cops to Already. come to my house. I got you. So why am I being the arrested one with black fingerprint things on? So okay. look over here at the blue eyes, right? Okay. Here. You... Keep your glasses on. Just looked on the computer, found out that Karen actually is not going home tonight. Probably going to court tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon um, and be arraigned by the judge, especially when she's formally told of her charges. I work in the night shift. We deal with a lot of people that are intoxicated or uh, under the influence of drugs. So naturally, their anxiety levels are pretty high. Sometimes we do have to go hands-on with people, and that's when our job gets really tough for us. I haven't seen him before. Are you a veteran? You are? Oh, we so, got the stare down. He's already tried to kick a deputy okay, out there, so. Okay. So as soon as he's cleared by the nurse, we'll take control. Hopefully, he'll calm down. Um, if not, then we'll have to put him in a holding cell. He's a big boy, too. Medically cleared. Yeah. Medically cleared. What's going on, guys? How's it going? What do we got? Trespassing. 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 A guy called us. I, I guess he got dropped off by a cab and just went and sat down on the guy's front porch and banging on his windows and doors. Oh, and the complaint didn't know him? No, he had nope. no idea who he was. He's giving you a little bit of a problem or what? He wasn't that bad, but he, he tensed up on us when we handcuffed, handcuffed him. And he tried to kick me in the sally port a couple times. But okay, so he's combative when he came in here pretty yeah. much. Yeah. All right, sir. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. All right. You understand what you've been arrested for? No. Okay, you've been arrested for trespassing. Okay. Good. You understand where you're at right now? You're in the county jail, right? Okay. Are you gonna give us any problems? Am I? I don't know. You tell me. We got a process to go through. You give us any problems, you're not gonna get a chance to bond out. You gonna be straight with that? We'll see. All right. We'll move. All right. We'll see. Step over here for me. You're gonna face this window over here. This is great. Stand up. Step right over here. Face that window. Face the window. Spread your feet. Do you have any drugs, weapons, needles, razors, anything sharp in your pockets? Tell me. Do you have anything on you illegal, sir? Tell me. OK, well, we'll find out if you have anything illegal on you or not, all right? So what's, what's the issue, man? Hmm? You're here for a misdemeanor charge. All you're doing right now is making it harder for yourself. The more you cooperate with us, the quicker you'll be able to get out of here. All right, sir, we're going to step right over here where it says photo ID and fingerprint. Leave all that stuff there. I'll take care of it. Have a seat on the stool. Timmy! Love you, bro. Love you. Timmy? Who's Timmy? My brother. Your brother? Yeah. Is your brother here? I am. Oh, you are. Yeah. So what happened tonight? You don't want to talk about it? No? My no. dad and Tim are awesome. Your dad and Tim? Sit down. Sit down. Tim? You're not going to resist. You understand me? <laughs> Ow! 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 I'm not resisting. You sure you're not resisting right now? I'm not. Pop four. Four now. I'm not. Let go of the. Let go of the counter. Let go of the counter. Get your hand behind your back. Get your hand behind your back. Get your hand behind your back. Get your hand behind your back now. Do it now. Cuff him up. What was that all about? Uh, huh? Nothing? Uh, you sure? Because uh, you stood up like you want to fight. Uh, was it really worth it? Uh, huh? Uh, all right, sir, we're going to get to your knees, and then we're going to stand up. Okay, Ready? Up on three. One, One two, two, three. What's the issue? You think you can act like a jackass? Uh, huh? You sure? Have a seat in there. All right, no problem. Sit down. What happened? Nothing. What do you mean to nothing? Nothing happened. You stand up in a threatening manner towards deputies and... I didn't threaten anybody. You, you're intoxicated, correct? I never you, said that either. You been drinking? No, I never said that. We're not looking for you to say that. Follow directions and be processed. All right, cool. You sit in those cuffs until you can cooperate. Is that understood? Yes. Okay. Hey, don't be banging your head on the glass. You want those handcuffs off? No. 
Okay, then that's fine. Then we're all happy, right? There you go. Relax, we'll get you through the process, all right? Okay. I think we're going to go ahead and process William now. He's calmed down quite a bit. The pops, let's give him another chance. William, we're not going to have any more issues like earlier, right? No. No issues. No issues? All right. Put your hand up on the wall when he gets his cuff off, OK? All right, William, go ahead and sit down. All right. You're 43 years old, right? 44. OK. You're, you're a Marine. Marine. You're an ex-Marine. Oh, yeah. Right. No, pretty proud of it. Still a marine. You're still, still a marine. marine, but pretty proud of it, right? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Do. do me a favor, all right? Get dressed, then we'll get you processed, all right? Right over here, sir. Here we go. I need you to place both thumbs right there on that red pad for me. Do you understand why you've been arrested tonight? Why? Because you were banging on somebody's door. Mm -hmm. You didn't belong yet. Do you remember being there? No. No. Did you have a little bit to drink tonight? Not enough. Not enough? <laughs> Seems like an all right guy, man. You just got to have a little bit too much to drink tonight. Says who? <laughs> well, says your actions when you came in here. You weren't cooperating with the uh, arresting officers, and unless you're normally like that, I mean, I don't know you, but all mad at the world. Not me. OK. Yeah. All right, so we're going to step right over here. Okay. Have a seat right there on that red stool for me. Yeah. All right. Hey, William. What happened earlier? We're coming over there and resisting and? No resisting. No, no resisting? <clears throat> no. You, know, you got an explanation for that, or? Yeah, it's just, you know, being a Marine and just being in combat and mm -hmm. just being out in. Out in the field? Out in the field. Yeah. I, I feel I'm better than having to go through the whole process I hear. Yeah. So, I understand that. And you know what? So I, I understand can you have some pride in that. That's fine. We I understand. can respect that, you know, serving our country, everything like that. But you still get a process. Mm -hmm. And you would think, being military personnel, you know the word respect. Respect our jobs because we got a job to do just like I am. You, you do. Oh, oh, that's why I'm not resisting. Well, I know, but earlier, earlier you did. Earlier was a little pain, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so it, it, it seems like all you right. get a little bit of pride. I'm trying. You, hey. you know what I'm saying? It's all right, man. All right. All right, let's just do this. All, all right, right. process, right. man. Hey, we're going to step over there, have a seat in the second or third row in the blue chairs for me, all right? I think whatever he had wrong with him was got through his system. I think he's we'll a little stubborn about his ways, but I think that's just William. He was a Marine. So They're all business. So. Absolutely. I worked for the Sarasota County Sheriff's Department Corrections Bureau for about six years. It's always been my goal to work for the Sheriff's Department where I lived at my whole life. This is the community I grew up in, so I really feel like I'm giving back to, you know, my community and helping out. Have any medical problems? I have panic attacks. No, I'm just having medical problems, like asthma, diabetes. I'm not talking about I depression. Have a panic attack. I okay, have that's fine. I don't need to know attack. about that right now. You're not going to have a panic attack. Go sit right back down there. She's fine. I'm not I'm dealing with you her. Have a medical yeah, problem. I'm not her. Tell her. She doesn't care. She's tired. Like, Deputy Bursa, I just want to let you know this one woman here, she's just oh, uncooperative. Okay. She's not answering any of my questions. I just wanted to give you a heads up. Okay, not a problem. We'll take care of it. Thanks. Why do you pay a woman like that? What's going on with her? She's just being difficult. She doesn't want to answer questions. How'd you guys come in contact with her? Prostitution yeah. still. Okay. All right. Ma'am, what's your name? Ma'am? What's your name? I'm Deputy Brusso. What's your first name? James. My name's Cynthia. Cynthia. You're in jail now. Just calm down. You'll be okay. I'm not panicking right now. Okay, well, then why didn't you want to answer their questions? Because of this stupid question. She's asking me a question. And she doesn't care what I answer it. So why the f ask me? She's just doing her job. The okay. woman's on drugs. You say you're She's more drunk than I am. You say you're probably a little drunk right now? I may be under the influence, but she acts more drunk than I am. She's rude, obnoxious, and she asked me to, to she just threw me out, out of her window. I have panic problems. And the deputy said he was going to spray me in the face. He's like freaking 
Silence of the Lambs. I mean, he, he forced me in the car just right. because he's wearing a black suit. That, what? That means he's a police officer. He could be anybody. All right, well, you know what? We'll get you through this, OK? But just try to stay calm. We'll get you inside. We'll get you processed. You all set with her? Yeah. Head straight over that door. That's the door now. I'm not, I'm not going in there. Come on. No. You need to cooperate with me, OK? Right over here. I feel like I'm in a, a basement or a dungeon. Have a seat right there. Sit down. Can you take off your jewelry for me, please? I can't even see him in daylight or nighttime, you know? It is nighttime now. And you just sign right here for all the property I took from you, okay? I don't want to sign that. Just throw it away. You think I care about my Settle goddamn down. jewelry? Settle I'm in jail. Down. Settle down. Shove it up your ass. I don't care. Listen, there's no need for any of that. Well, you know, if you want me to has, sign has my Has she been signature. disrespecting you? Has she disrespected you She's one time? asking me to sign my name for is that that hard? property when I'm in jail. Do you think I care? Absolutely. I don't give a f what happens to my property right now. We have a job to do. And when we take property from you, it's our responsibility. You understand? She's been nothing but polite with you. She doesn't need an attitude from you. Stand up right now and step over to the inmate shower and change out, or we're no, going to put you in a holding cell. You ought to be cell. ashamed of yourself. You work with the paycheck, you know? <laughs> Most people do, ma'am. Yeah. Well, right in you here. Know what? Right this way. Free. Step over here. Come on. Orlando the Now take off your tank and put that on. No, I don't need to put it on. Let me put it this way. You either put it on yourself or I'm going to put it on for you. Go straight across over there and put your back on that black wall. I can't see anything. Right there, Cynthia. Black wall. This one right there. It's not black. It's gray. I can't see Cynthia, nothing. Step straight ahead. I'm fine. I can't see nothing. Step straight ahead, baby. I don't see nothing. Okay, if you're not going to cooperate with our process, I'm sorry, you're going to go in the holding cell. You understand? You do not talk over me. I do not see You do not talk over me. You understand? Show me the black wall. Hey, okay, you're going to walk this way. Come on. You can't see, you can't get processed. You want to be difficult about things, you can sit in a holding cell until you're ready to process. You understand? Have a seat. What seems to be the problem here? Maybe there's no black wall. It's nighttime. Did everybody think that there might be candlelight one day and there's no black wall? Maybe I can't see it? Cynthia, <laughs> Cynthia, this ain't no big deal. You got to calm down. You got to let us do our job. <laughs> this is only as hard as you make it, all right? We'll get you out of here in a little bit and process you, all right? Man, she is not happy. I've never seen her before. I don't know if she has any kind of history with us, but. I asked her if she had any family around here, but she wouldn't answer me. This so. definitely seems like some mental health issues, so. Give him a couple hours in a holding cell. Step over to your left. Get a big shower. I'm just going to go ahead and check on Cynthia here, see if she's ready to get processed. Hey, Cynthia. It's Deputy Bruso. Hey, how are you? You feeling better? Let's get you processed so you can lay on a mattress instead of the ground, OK? Sure, there's a slide right there. Watch your back, Dolly. All right, we're going to come right here. And just go on and take a left for me, OK? Yeah, here it is. Deputy Dolly's going to take your fingerprints. Is this the first time you've ever been arrested here in Sarasota? Yeah, it's the most horrible offense. It's like I killed somebody. Just because I said yes to something doesn't mean I'm a prostitute. Hey, Amen. You know? Well, unfortunately, you know, if they asked you I was you to, drunk. You know, I'm drunk. I mean, if they would have said jump up and down 20 times, I would have said yes to it. You know, I was scared. And then I was agreeable to anything he said, you know? Right, but what happens if, you know, there wasn't an officer on the street and it was somebody that, you know, that's on uh, That's also, I'm something. thinking that I know. So, so why would you get so, into a car with somebody, though? You know, I, I'm also you thinking know. I'm very lucky, too. All right, Cynthia. Yeah. Just do me a favor. Why don't you go over here and have a seat with all the other girls? We'll get you upstairs, OK? Yeah. But I appreciate you cooperating with me now, OK? It's pretty much a typical case there, you know? Alcohol, going to jail, heightened zero. You know, anxiety levels, and then it just takes a little time to work, work them down. But yeah. she got through it. It'll be okay. Yeah, she's processed, and uh, we'll get her upstairs here in a little while. Outstanding. Yeah. Alrighty.